Today, we're diving into a popular post from the Reddit titled as Repeatedly block in my car in private parking? Good luck finding and getting your car out. This post received 26,549 upvotes. Posted by Angry Aussie Gam 3R. The post reads as follows. Not sure if this is petty or pro, but it was certainty creative and extremely funny at the time so I'll try here. I live in an apartment building which has end-to-end -end parking for two spaces per apartment, and access to the parking levels, one to five, are done via a locked automatic roller door which people can only get through if they have a remote for it, or sneak through behind someone else. I only have a single car, and sometimes I let my friends park in the space in front of my car if they give me notice, so I generally park at the back of the double space, plus it's easier for my neighbors who have two cars. Earlier this year, a random car began parking in front of mine on Friday afternoons, meaning I couldn't go out with my car on Friday nights, annoying, but not the biggest issue when you live super close to the city. This continued nearly every week over about five weeks when I didn't park my car at the front of the bay, which I began doing, but times I planned to leave the space free for friends coming over or whatever, the car appeared again. I made repeated attempts to stop this behavior by leaving notes, which escalated into leaving printouts of a photo of the car with the license plate clearly visible and an explanation that if it happened again I'd press charges and or have the vehicle towed. Well, it happened again, and this time it was still there Saturday afternoon when I had been planning on going away with a group of my mates. My guess is, someone went out on Friday, got drunk, and decided to pick up the car, later not concerning themselves with the inconvenience it caused anyone else. It clearly hadn't moved, as my my aggressive note telling them to fuck off was still there sitting limply under their wiper blades. I figured enough was enough. It was time to have the vehicle towed, so I called building management and eventually calling a towing company, who refused to help because the space was on the third floor, and they can't get any trucks up to that level because of the height and space restrictions. Ordinarily most people would be pretty much screwed at this point, and I will admit I briefly considered sitting on the hood of the car until the jackass came to pick it up while sending my mates on their way without me, but they would have had to work out a new arrangement for transport as one car wouldn't have cut it. Fortunately for me however, my parents only live 30 minutes away, and have a garage where I work on one of my cars that's getting at the tail end of a minor restoration. One of the things I use pretty often is a set of vehicle positioning jacks, to jam my project car right up against the wall of the garage to minimize the space it takes up. For anyone that doesn't know, vehicle positioning jacks are basically devices that slot under each wheel, then lift the car up on hydraulics so you can free wheel it in any direction. Whilst I hadn't originally gone to retrieve them, when I had to take my project car off them, a bright idea came to my head. None of my mates minded spending an extra hour to screw someone over that had interfered with us, so we grabbed the jacks, and went back, propped the car up, and wheeled it out. Six guys can easily move around a small hatchback, so we pushed across the level slowly and carefully, to an area where there isn't parking, but as a load supporting pillar with space enough for a car behind it, in a little section of the garage where it isn't lit, and is completely out of the way. Typically there's a guy on my level that parks a motorbike there, but he isn't meant to, and I doubted he minded. We dumped it between the pillar and the wall, with the nose pointing towards the wall, I took back my angry note, the jacks, and we left to enjoy our weekend. When he came back Monday afternoon after the long weekend the car was still there, which was no real surprise considering there was only about a foot of space for movement between the pillar and car and another foot or so between the car and the wall. From the fact the front wheels had changed we're guessing they did try to get it out, unsuccessfully. It eventually went later in the week, though I'm not exactly sure how they managed it. I never saw that car again. TLDR. Jackass repeatedly blocked in my car by illegally parking in my private space, including over a long weekend when I had plans to go away with a group of mates. We used vehicle positioning jacks to move the car and place it between a pillar and a wall making it extremely hard to get out, from a secluded, dark and out-of-the-way corner of the parking level where most people wouldn't have thought to look. Blank. Info Edit 1. 
as requested. My shitty MS Paint graphic. Made in GIMP. Because way to break the mold, to explain the positioning. Ing. Now with animations. For the record I'm pretty sure we spun it around half a dozen times whilst moving it. Because none of my mates had ever seen the ease of which vehicle positioning jacks move cars around. I probably could have done it myself since I know how they tend to move. But two novices could easily have done it extremely easily. Plus, there is something weirdly amusing about dancing a car around as it slides in directions it was never meant to and that you only see in car crash dash cam videos from Russia. Info edit 2. For anyone who doesn't understand how parking in my building works, it's like this. Two car spaces per apartment, but one car goes in front of the other. Hope that clears up why I couldn't just move my car out and leave his where it was. Info edit 3. I'm an Australian, for anyone who missed my username. Info edit 4. A few people have asked why I don't simply park at the front of my spaces. I don't always drive to work, because I live close enough so my car stays home. My mates will need to go into city every so often, usually happens randomly like once a week, so if I leave my car at the front of the bay, I'd either need to go home to move it, or tell my mates their shit out of luck. I'd rather not take away a benefit to my friends all because the occasional jackass, and single persistent jackass, wants to freeload too. At least my mates buy me beer or pay for my gas occasionally. Plus the person parking in my space illegally is the one doing something wrong, not me. Info edit 5. Police also will not help unless the vehicle has been there long enough to be considered abandoned. However cite that I'm within my right to have the vehicle moved or towed, which as I've pointed out won't happen because of the difficulty unless I pay a ridiculous removal fee which is greater than the impound charge. Blank. Final misc edit. Thank you to everyone who has enjoyed reading this. Laughed, upvoted, downvoted, commented and been kind enough to gift a silver or gold. First time having any of this attention. So it's a bit of a shock for me. Especially over something I didn't think much of after. I never would have thought seven mates desperate to get away for the weekend would bring so much internet praise. I mean this may seem silly. But I really am extremely appreciative of the silver and gold gifts from those of you who have given them. So again thanks everyone for the upvotes, comments, gifts, and chuckles I'm sure some of you had. A comment from user a monocle dragon says. That's hilarious. I keep thinking of the Austin Powers parking thing with how you described where the car got moved. This comment received 4038 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says. I had never seen that before, but a quick Google search brought me to it. I have to say, I hope that's exactly how it went down. It was a pretty nice new car, so I wouldn't exactly want them to damage it, but I can't really bring myself to care if they did either after so many attempts to get the, don't park here, message through. So playing bumper cars with the wall and pillar would probably just be an extra dose of karma. For anyone that hasn't seen it. This reply received 1547 upvotes. A comment from user Silent Poison says. I'm just stuck thinking about the owner coming back with mates. I know I parked it here, are you sure? Well, yeah. Because the guy who's been leaving me notes not to park here's car is right there. Wait. You were told not to park here? Oh, shit, I still want to know how long it took them to find the car, if they found it while looking around the other parking spaces, whether they went calling impound lots. So many questions. This comment received 1672 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, I wish I had answers to that. I really do. I considered asking the building manager to see if he'd give over the camera footage of the level but decided against pushing my luck, and incriminating myself. I hope it took them a good hour to find the car at least. Though would be gleeful if they had gone home and started calling impound lots, and I hope on their first attempt to reverse the car out it took them a few hours to give up. Kind of wish I'd been there to see it too. Had a smug. How drunk were you to park like that? Ready to go if I ever saw the guy trying to free his car. This reply received 873 upvotes. A comment from user T. Zenrick says. 
I had a person that liked to park in the road across the end of my driveway and block me in. I left notes. I marked the driveway with cones, and I blocked the entire driveway with a sawhorse. Nothing stopped this stranger. One day, I was sick of it. I took some freezer burned fish, tossed it in a Tupperware container, and left it outside my back door. The next weekend, the car was back. I took my blender outside mixed up my rancid fish with some hot water, and poured the slurry into every crack I could find on that car. They never parked there again. Note. I was 21, immature, and angry. I have grown as a person since then. This comment received 2049 upvotes. A comment from user an anonymous user says, Wow! I had fun reading this. You used your car mechanic skills to get your point across but it didn't actually hurt anyone or the other car or your car. Lol it sounds like a professional sized prank. This comment received 406 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Thanks. I certainly didn't damage his car. Even screwing around we were careful not to. I'd say there was a fair chance he tapped the wall or pillar at some point though. Unless he was super careful or gave up super quickly. I had thought about putting his car at the back of my space and parking mine in front. But I was worried he'd end up damaging my car trying to get it out or out of anger. And then I would have been blocking him. So who knows if that could have caused other problems. This reply received 229 upvotes. A comment from user Kelly underscore face says. I love this. I have a car space which I'm assuming is included in the rent of my apartment. Someone has been parking in it for almost as long as I've rented here. And whilst I don't have a car. I'd really like them to beat it so I can put a clamshell pool there and chill out with some daiquiris as it approaches summer. I don't think it's too much to ask. This comment received 128 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says. Serious advice here. Work out if you technically should have access to that car park, and have that car removed. I've had offers of $200 a week for my spare car space. Now maybe where you are they wouldn't be worth so much, but even $50 a week is less you owe on your rent, and people always want a guest space or a spare space to use for multi-car families. This reply received 247 upvotes. A comment from user X7C3 says, That's fucking brilliant. I need to get me a set of these. This comment received 282 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Thanks. We certainly thought so too. Didn't mind going out of my way to check on the car every day too. Was a good laugh seeing it there for nearly a week. Vehicle positioning jacks are the best for a tight workshop, clever storage of cars, or creative revenge. They're not too expensive either if you make good use of them. Would buy another set just to fuck someone over if it came down to it but then I'd probably have to post in petty revenge. This reply received 229 upvotes. A reply from user Levithic says, If you're willing to use a jack to get each wheel on one they can be as cheap as $130 link because I looked it up. HTTPS colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash dp slash b01 fstfx2c slash ref equals cm underscore sw underscore r underscore cp underscore oppa underscore qdmbcbqg2g90f. This reply received 27 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, I don't personally recommend that type, because they're harder to use, as you said, you need a regular hydraulic jack, and I have a slight, strong, dislike of using traditional single point jacks to lift up cars because I've nearly been caught under a car which wasn't fixed in place properly. Lesson learned after that, now I use ramps. That said, you're not meant to use the hydraulic jack version for long term storage, which I do, as it's bad for the tires. That style is far better for that since the weight is distributed more evenly rather than on two pinch points. So they definitely have that going for them. Which if you're using them for long term placement jacking up each wheel with at a time probably wouldn't be a big deal and the cost saving would be worth it. Anyway. Food for thought since I, clearly, 
have some experience with them and figured I could share the knowledge. Carrot. Edit. Words. Spelling. Etc. This reply received 65 upvotes. A comment from user Prairie West says, I've never seen those, but they sure would come in handy for college pranks. Perfect revenge. This comment received 175 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Handy for college pranks oh no, what have I done? This reply received 264 upvotes. A comment from user soda underscore cookie says, This is pro, all the way. Good show my friend. This comment received 42 upvotes. A comment from user gothik68 says, Actually there is a police trick to get out of a tight space like that. Enjoy. HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash de 8 quavivr1 underscore a. This comment received 38 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Someone linked that earlier. And whilst that is an awesome trick, you'll notice the car pulled out forward. The asshole I dealt with would have ended up driving straight into the wall if he'd tried that, since we purposely positioned the car nose and wall to make it harder since a lot of people suck at reverse parking. This reply received 66 upvotes. A comment from user Seattle who dat says, could be one of the best pro revenge entries that I've read. Well done. Petty and impactful. Dot. This comment received 148 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Thank you. That actually means a lot. You've made my week with that. This reply received 81 upvotes. A reply from user Shinebright444 says, And he had the audacity to question if this was pro. For fuck's sake we even got an animation op as deaf going places. This reply received 74 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, Hopefully it's not between a wall and a pillar with only a foot or so of wiggle room. This reply received 48 upvotes. A comment from user PLS Obey Traffic Lights says, You were too kind. I think I would have left the windows down and installed a free raccoon. This comment received 43 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says, I'd need to get one cent over from the US, and shipping times were just too long for me to wait. Next time I'll put a kangaroo in the backseat. I imagine after a day of being locked up a big red would be ready to knock anyone's block off. Head, not engine block. This reply received 33 upvotes. A comment from user Echospite says, Wait wait wait. I'm having trouble visualizing this. To make my justice boner complete. Can you give me a shitty MS paint drawing of how the car was positioned? Also I wish I saw the driver's face when they saw their car just mysteriously vanished and reappeared. This comment received 34 upvotes. A reply from the original author Angry Aussie Gam 3R says. You're in luck. Shitty MS paint drawings are my specialty. When I'm done with my dinner I'll get down to work and come up with something Picasso would be jealous of. Maybe even with animations. Edit. Also in OP, as requested. My shitty MS Paint graphic. Made in GIMP. Because way to break the mold, to explain the positioning. Now with animations. For the record I'm pretty sure we spun it around half a dozen times whilst moving it. Because none of my mates had ever seen the ease of which vehicle positioning jacks move cars around. I probably could have done it myself since I know how they tend to move. But two novices could easily have done it extremely easily. Plus, there is something weirdly amusing about dancing a car around as it slides in directions it was never meant to and that you only see in car crash dash cam videos from Russia. This reply received 60 upvotes.